Hi everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. This week we are in Leicestershire, staying at an adults only site called Eye Kettleby Lakes. Uh, we're just outside of Melton Mowbray, which is famous for its pork pies. It is, it is. And its stilton cheese. We're going to get some of those, aren't we? <laughs> we we're going to try some of those, yeah, yeah. definitely. It's a, it's a fabulous site. Um, it's also got, a, it's called Eye Kettleby Lakes because it's got nine fishing lakes here, which are beautiful to look at. It's really busy, lots of anglers here fishing. Um, as I said, it's adults only, so it's strictly over 18s. They've got two sites, the northern part, which is slightly older, and then the more modern site that we are actually staying on called the Southern Meadows, which was only built last year. And it is absolutely stunning. Let's go and have a look round. So as I said earlier, the touring park is split into two main areas. Uh, you've got the northern site, which was developed in 2012, and that has got 61 pitches, 47 of which are fully serviced. And the new southern part, the Southern Meadows, which we are in now, this opened in April 2018, and it's got 69 fully serviced pitches. They're all positioned to take in absolutely stunning views across the rolling countryside. And in the very centre, you've got two facilities blocks in beautiful stonework, um, all luxury um, toilet blocks, which we will have a look very short look have a look at very shortly but for now I think we'll go and have a little look at the pitches. This is one of the pitches available here on the southern in the southern meadows. There are two types of pitch available. There is superior and superior extended. Now this is the superior extended pitch and they are absolutely enormous. They're 14 meters in length and they have electric, water, grey waste and an aerial point and they're all a mixture of grass, gravel and tarmac and you are shown where to position your car and caravan and awning once you've arrived. This is one of these superior pitches. These are nine metres long and have the same as the uh, superior extended electric, water, grey waste and aerial. And again, a mixture of grass, gravel and tarmac. Um, still beautifully maintained, all everywhere separated by um, plants, you know, shrubbery, hedging. And as I said, this is quite new. This was built last April this site, uh, 2018. So the, you can see all the um, trees and shrubbery are still all quite new, but they will obviously establish themselves. So to give you a little bit more privacy um, in a few years time once, once they've developed. This is one of two facility blocks on the Southern Meadow. In here, you'll find this spacious entrance hall with seating. There are two washing up sinks with nice modern Belfast sinks and beautiful black granite worktops, all very nice and clean and modern. There is a washing machine and a tumble dryer for you to use. And as you can see, the cost for using the washing machine is £4 and to use the tumble dryer is £1. As you come into this block, the gents are to your right and the ladies to your left. There is a disabled room for those of you who need it. We'll just take a little look in here. Here we have the toilet with uh, the grab rails for you. All very nice and clean and tidy, spotlessly clean. There is a large shower cubicle with an overhead shower plate and also a detachable shower head. There is a chair and a small bench, a wash hand basin and hair dryer. Incidentally, the flooring in here is not in any way slippy when it's wet. Um, so, you know, that's always good to know. This is one of the standard shower rooms. Both the ladies and gents are the same. Again, all spotlessly clean in here. You've got a hair dryer and a little wooden bench to put all your belongings on and a huge shower cubicle with an overhead shower plate and detachable shower head. And of course that beautiful chrome towel rail. Alongside each shower and toilet block, you've got your chemical waste point 
just here and they also offer a lovely warm water dog shower. Um, the site offers lovely long walks um, which is perfect if you've got dogs. Uh, you're allowed a maximum of three dogs per pitch but you are charged an additional fee for your pets which is £1.50 per animal. But this little shower is perfect if you've been out in the fields surrounding us here just to clean off your little pooch. There are plenty of supermarkets, petrol stations and DIY stores should you need them in Melton Mowbray which is 10 minutes away and you can actually order your sh shopping online here and get it delivered from Tesco, Morrisons and Sainsbury's. They regularly deliver to guests staying here. You just use the address iKettleby Lakes when you're ordering and you put in your pitch number, your name and telephone number and your food, your shopping can all be delivered here. Right, interestingly, they offer something here that we've never seen on another touring site. If you're thinking about buying a motorhome, you know, it's something that you've considered, they actually give you the chance to rent this one here um, to, so that you can stay in it for a week or two weeks or however long you want, um, you know, just to, to see what it's like actually living um, in a motorhome. This is a brand new Adria Matrix 670DC. Uh, it's pitched on the southern meadows and it has a fixed double bed, air conditioning, toilet and shower, flat screen TV and DVD player, a fully fitted kitchen, and you've got outside seating area and a barbecue. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? I think we'll go and have a little chat with Craig, see if he can tell us a little bit more about it. Okay, so we're joined by Craig, and he yeah. is just looking after the Adria motorhome that uh, Michelle just mentioned. So Craig, can we just ask you, uh, I mean, is this a popular, feature on this site? Um, it's brand new for us this year. Um, I actually went round the NEC last year and um, uh, we would we'd, we'd just go to be nosy and have a look and the common question that was asked was you know you can see people go in there and they've never ever stayed in a caravan, stayed in a motorhome before and it just felt like it was sort of a big sort of jump into the dark for them Yeah. and we thought it'd be a, a nice concept to um, to have one, drop it on site, let people you know come and view it, it brings them to us which is important. Absolutely, um, that's a little taster isn't it to yeah. see whether they enjoy the sort of motorhome lifestyle and, and how many people will it actually sleep? Uh, it can sleep four so it's, right. it's got it has got a fold down bed but we set it so because we're adult only we set it so yeah. that it's based on couples right. um, and um, it's uh, I mean that's it I mean the, it's a very common question in the caravan in the motorhome world is what layout do we want sure. um, uh, do we want a fixed bed do we want um, uh, this in the kitchen we want this in the shower um, so it gives people just an opportunity to come and actually live it before they go in and spending yeah. a lot of money on a, um, a unit like this and do you find it's being it's proving successful um, it's been quite steady this first year um, we, we've had a few people have booked it out for like the summer holidays um, uh, but it was we were late to market it to be honest so we're yeah. hoping for a successful part for next year and can people uh, actually take it off site no so it's designed uh, designed and insured so it stays on site so it's yeah. more of a, a taster of what it's like to sort of camp a motorhome yeah. rather than the other side of driving it and being on the roadways um, it got a bit more complicated for us uh, yeah. in, in that sense and that's fantastic and I believe you've got people coming in into it today. Yes, so we've got uh, um, arrival, arrival for today, they're here for a couple of days, which tends to be they come for sort of two or three day breaks, which is fantastic. great, so um, we're okay. just getting it ready for the yes. That's great, I mean is it okay if we just have a little film inside? Uh, yeah. I know they're cleaning it at the moment, so we'll just wait for them to clean it. And yeah, absolutely, we'll, go and have a, have a nosy. Okay, so yeah. show everyone what they can expect? Yeah, wonderful. Craig, fantastic, thank you very much indeed for your time. Lovely, Cheers. all right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we thought we'd have a little uh, look inside the Adria uh, motorhome. It's just been cleaned, so uh, let's have a little wander. Oh, wow. Wow. This looks amazing. Okay, so starting at the back, you've got a double bed. Beautiful, look at that. How lovely. Uh, somewhere on either side, just to pop your uh, tea or coffee for the morning. You've got a couple of lights up there and it looks like a USB socket as well. Um, on this particular van, you've also got air conditioning. You've got the shower. I'll just come out of the way so Michelle can uh, show you the shower. Um, yeah, perfect. Obviously you've got the wheel arch there, so um, that's something, but it's great to sit on. <laughs> Why not? And you've also got, by the looks of it, you've got the Alder Central Heating. On here, you also have the opposite the shower. You have the toilet. 
and the basin. Very nice sized toilet, huge toilet. Uh, and obviously these doors you can just close off um, when you are going to bed. Right, so moving along to the front here, the kitchen, uh, starting on this side you have the full length fridge, which is nice, beautiful. Nice full length fridge. Got a lovely skylight up there which opens up as well. On the fridge side, uh, you have your drainer on there. And on here you have a kettle, but also the, I don't know how many burners it has. And it's three gas burners. Uh, you've also got the Thetford combination oven grill. And then moving to the lounge area, you have this lounge and I think these chairs probably spin round, don't know how to do that. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful, loads of cupboards. I mean, we're not actually reviewing the caravan, sorry, the caravan. We're not reviewing this per se, but it's showing you what you've got. It's loads of storage space, absolutely loads of storage space all the way along. So yeah, it looks absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful motorhome. So if you uh, are thinking about a motorhome, you can come here and try one. See if you like it. Obviously, as, as uh, Craig said earlier, you can't drive it, but uh, definitely worth a try to see whether you enjoy the habitation part. So that's the Adria motorhome. This is one of the numerous lakes that are around, dotted around and about the um, site. It's absolutely beautiful. This one is up to 12 meters in depth and it stocks common and mirror carp up to 26 pounds in weight. This is an award-winning site. It has won many, many awards. It's got five stars from Visit Britain, a five gold pennant award from the AA, is overall winner, overall winner of the top 100 sites and winner of Practical Caravan magazine as well. It's been voted um, best regional site. As you can see, everything is so well maintained. It's just absolutely spectacular, spectacular here. Now they do have some pictures which are suitable for tents and they also have luxury glamping pods which are fully fitted with everything you need for a break away from home and they've also got 12 luxury log cabins which are made from traditional Scandinavian logs uh, some are graded four star and some are five star uh, they're fully fitted out uh, for everything that you need and you even get a bottle of chilled champagne or wine on arrival which is very nice this is the northern section, the older part of the site. Uh, still a beautiful site, as you can see by looking around you now. The facility blocks here are slightly different. They are wooden log cabin type structures, as opposed to the stone, modern stonework of the southern section. Um, now on both sites here, um, prices do vary. Um, depending on your pitch size and the season and they do get booked up very very quickly so if you would like to come here I would advise booking early. Uh, the price you pay includes two people that's your caravan or motorhome, one car and one awning and if you have an additional car this must be left in the car park at reception. There is an additional fee of £7.50 per adult per extra adult um, up to a maximum of two additional adults and they do actually have special offers available on their website throughout the year so you know if you're flexible with the time that you can come I would suggest having a look at the website to see if you can get um, a discounted price and also just one last thing when you arrive you must bring photo ID uh, just to present at reception to clarify that you're the person who is on the booking okay these are the superior pitches on the northern close. These are nine metres long and they have electric, water, grey waste and an aerial point. Again, a mixture of tarmac, gravel and grass. And these are the standard pitches. So these are nine metres in length and they have electric hookup and water. Now, this site does have Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi you can pick up on all your pitches so um, it is free and you can pick it up on the pitches 
uh, you just have a login and just put in your um, email address and once you're logged in you're logged in it will actually log you out I, um, I think if you haven't been on it for about an hour or so I think it does actually log you out but you just log back in um, so yeah you can get those on the pitches as well that's the club Wi-Fi there's loads of places to walk around here um, if you know if you've got a dog or even you just fancy a walk yourselves and when you arrive you're given a brochure and it outlines all the walking trails that you can go on and that wind turbine that you can see there that's actually used to generate electricity uh, that, that powers the whole northern close touring site which is pretty amazing isn't it this is re reception reception is open from eight o'clock to six o'clock on arrival and departure days um, as you come in there are some huge bays numerous long bays for parking um, just around the corner and then you come here to reception and you're given all the information that you need um, for the entire site. This is the clubhouse which is the hub of the entire holiday park. Uh, this is home to the bar and restaurant and the bar is open till late on Tuesday to Sundays in spring and summer and open from Wednesdays to Saturday during the autumn and winter months. Now they have a fully stocked bar here with local ales and they also have a range of over 30 different gins and they also allow your dogs to join you in their dedicated pet friendly lounge. Sorry about the vehicle going past. Now they do have music nights here throughout the season, including tribute acts like Robbie Williams, Elvis, Michael Bublé, Dolly Parton, ABBA, to name but a few. And from April through to November, they hold a quiz night every Thursday. In high season on Fridays, they have takeaway night at the clubhouse. Uh, you order your own takeaways from a local restaurant which is delivered directly to the club clubhouse and they'll provide the cutlery and the knives and forks and everything else and they'll even do the washing up afterwards. There is a leaflet stand in the clubhouse uh, porch just over here which I'll show you and that lists all the local restaurants and takeaways and also on a Wednesday night they have a fish and chip van that comes here so if you fancy a night off from cooking there's your answer. Okay so uh, some housekeeping tips um, first of all, the, um, on the bollards you have 16 amp uh, power, um, on each bollard um, you have two taps, so, excuse me, got something in my eye, you've got two taps uh, on either side, so okay. one to connect if you're on the service pitch, one to connect to your caravan and one to fill up whatever else. Um, 16 amp uh, power as I say. Uh, Wi-Fi wise, uh, we've got the three networks, which is Vodafone, EE and 3. Uh, we've got three to four bars on um, EE and 3, and four bars plus on Vodafone. So great signal, never had a problem um, on tethering or what have you on that. Uh, TV aerial wise, just a standard caravan aerial, point it in the direction that everybody else points to. Fantastic signal, and you get all the channels. So yeah, yeah, it's been really good. Yeah. Um, and sorry, just to interrupt. Um, getting here, it's very straightforward. You come along the A607, no narrow winding roads. Uh, there's a huge long driveway. It's set in surrounding countryside. I mean, they've got acres and acres of land here. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, so you come up the long driveway, go through big iron gates, um, and then up to reception, and they will direct you to your pitch. Um, places to visit here, there is Rockingham Castle, which is about 23 miles away. Belvoir Castle, is that how you pronounce it? Belvoir? Belvoir. 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 Uh, Burley House, 25 miles away. And of course, ye old pork pie shop in oh, Melton yeah. Mowbray. Yeah, um, and also, um, there is a King Richard III Visitor Centre in Leicester. Um, if you remember back in 2012, um, his remains were discovered in a car park there, so oh, yeah. that'd be quite interesting to go to the it visitor will. centre. Yeah, it? we'll have a look. Yeah, um, yeah. Right, that's it from us this time. I think I hope we have covered everything for you. Yeah, we hope you found that useful. Um, we've been here for uh, about a week now, and um, we've had a great time, haven't we? I mean, yeah. it's been beautiful. Been lucky with the weather we've again. We've been very lucky with the weather. <laughs> Met some um, lovely people. Yeah, we have, and yeah. I think on that note, we've Mark got and Jane in particular. Yes. Over there with the yeah. um Yeah, what's your channel? Swift freestyle, yes. Yeah. yeah, nice to meet you, Mark. Yeah. And lovely chatting with you. So hope you've enjoyed that. Hope you find it helpful. 
really lovely place to come. Um, it, it's, it's just, I mean, this southern meadow in particular, it's breathtaking. It's it is. absolutely gorgeous. So if you're booking, I would recommend trying it on this site <laughs> as yeah, opposed to the northern one. Absolutely. Not that there's nothing wrong with the northern one. I think one. we've gone on long enough, Mrs. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Right. I, on I that keep note, rambling again. <laughs> on that note, we, listen, we hope you've enjoyed the video. We hope you found it useful to you. Um, if you have, please feel free to subscribe. A caravan will appear over Michelle's left shoulder. Please feel free to subscribe and also click the notification button and you'll get notified when we upload the next video. So from on behalf of Michelle, and myself. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you so much. Bye bye now. Bye. Bye bye.